Welcome to the Lean Blog Podcast. Visit our website at www.leanblog.org. Now, here's your host, Mark Graben. Um, one, one other thing I want to talk about today, um, you would mentioned, I, I think in the last episode, of your Twitter address, which is Twitter, twitter.com slash Matthew E. May, right? And mine is uh, twitter.com slash lean blog. Um, I posted a video um, on the blog that I think you've seen, Evan Williams, one of the co-founders of Twitter, you know, talking about their platform. And well, I'd pick your brain if you think that's quote unquote elegant. You know, that, the video they talked about this simple little service, this idea of sending out 140 character messages. A lot of people would look and say, well, that's stupid. How useful is that? It's just, you know, the short message. And, and Evan, Evan Williams talked about the idea that their users, their customer base, created all sorts of um, helpful ways of using Twitter that they would have never imagined. If you look at the way people in um, uh, in India, in Mumbai, when the terrorist attacks were going on, that people discovered they could use Twitter as a way of effectively sharing breaking news and information. Um, in a way, it seems elegant. Am I? Is that too much of a stretch, or what, what do you think? I, I think it's completely elegant, and I think it's so elegant that I asked uh, Guy Kawasaki uh, to write a foreword to my book, and the decision was that it should be Twitter length the length of a tweet, um, 140 characters. And I believe it'll probably be, I, I think he's done it um, for one other person, but I think mine will be the first book to have a tweet length forward. Um, there's something about that 140 character space um, that actually makes us think more. Uh, and it's the old Mark Twain, I didn't have enough time to uh, write you the paragraph, so I wrote you the book. Uh, the constraint... The constraint drives your creativity and the words that you decide to use, the symbols you decide to use. Um, and so from that aspect alone, um, the, the, the notion of resource constraints uh, driving a more elegant message, I think, is right on target. And take a look at the growth of Twitter. I mean, gosh, even Barbara Walters is doing it now. <laughs> so I mean, it's a little bit overhyped right now, but uh, yeah. it's interesting to see how that. Uh, I think the the more you use Twitter, the more you kind of you know find different ways of using it, and you know the old criticism that you know I don't care that so and so is eating a turkey sandwich for lunch today. Why did he Twitter that? You know, there, there's I think there's more to it under the surface than than things like that. Yeah, and and part of it too is uh, is the old you know my dad always used to say, hey, consider the source. When, when John Mayer is telling us that he's eating a tuna sandwich is somehow more interesting than when Joe down the street is eating a tuna sandwich. <laughs> and I'm sure you're going to find ways. Hopefully the Twitter community will help spread the word about your book and uh, the, the things that you're doing. We'll, we'll see how that helps the book take off. I, I hope so. Uh, the whole, I, I'm still learning uh, this whole social networking. It's a whole new world for for old guys like me, and so it's, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. I uh, want, want to thank you again for taking time out uh, to talk about your book, uh, In Pursuit of Elegance. Um, again, I'm very thankful I had the chance to read it and highly recommend it to uh, everybody who's listening or watching today to check it out. It comes out uh, May 19th, correct? May 19th. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And as a final reminder, uh, the website, if you can remind people of that. In pursuit of elegance.com. Okay, Matt, thanks a lot. Appreciate you taking the time. Good talking to you. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for listening. This has been the Lean Blog Podcast. For lean news and commentary updated daily, visit www.leanblog.org. If you have any questions or comments about this podcast, email mark at leanpodcast at gmail.com.